Hi, this is Mike. I know that many of you take antacids. I periodically take antacids. People ask us a lot, you know, whether they should be taking antacids or not, or which ones that we do we recommend. I don't have a lot of advice on this except to say that uh, in my experience, there are two antacids that I tend to use when I need one, and those are Pepsid or a generic version of Pepsid and Tums or a generic version of Tums. The active ingredient in Pepsid is famatidine and the active ingredient in Tums is calcium carbonate, which is ground oyster shells. Those two products, I'm not as literate on the famatidine and its uh, potential side effects, but it is an over-the-counter medication, as is the calcium carbonate or Tums. I haven't found any side effects from either of them at all that I can ever detect or feel. So I use those two products very periodically. I use one of each when I take them. I call that a sandwich, one Tums and one Pepsid. And uh, the, the Pepsid gives roughly 12 hours of relief. It has both the famatidine and the calcium, car a small amount of calcium carbonate in it, and the Tums has a larger amount of calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate basically is an acid neutralizer. It immediately turns the pH in your stomach way up by neutralizing the acid, which is a very healthy reaction and calcium carbonate is basically, uh, it's not very assimilable into the body, but it is basically a food type or mineral product. Which it should give no side effects at all. Other than that, there are other types of antacids. There are prescription antacids, Nexium and several, and then there's PPHs or PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, such as Prevacid, and there's several others. Those tend to work if you take them consistently over a period of days or weeks. I personally have found them to be fairly ineffective. I also have found that after you take them for the period of time that they recommend, uh, since I don't take medications ongoing, I tend to want to use them for a short term, uh, get over the top of an issue. They seem to suppress your natural acid production and then when you stop taking them, it tends to rebound back. and. I feel like I'm worse when I stop taking them than when I started. So I don't use those at all. I don't use the proton pump inhibitors like Prevacid and the others that are similar to it. So those are my recommendations as far as antacids and the, the of course the prescription ones I try to avoid at all costs. Listen to your doctor, get off of them when you can. Thanks.